Finding the gradient of a line worked example. Every morning, Ivan walks along a straight road from his home to a taxi stop, a hundred and sixty meters away, and takes a taxi to school. The graph shows his journey to the taxi stop on one particular day. At one point on his walk, he thought he'd forgotten his maths homework at home, but finds it inside his science textbook. Calculate the gradient of each section of the graph. Since the gradient of a distance time graph is speed, this question is asking us to calculate the speed for each part of Ivan's journey. Let's divide each part of Ivan's journey into segments as follows. Section A. Gradient. M equals the change in distance over the change in time, which equals 100 minus 0 over 50 minus 0, which is 2. Ivan's speed is 2 meters per second when walking to the taxi stop. Section B. Gradient. M equals the change in distance over the change in time, which equals 40 minus 100 over 70 minus 50, which is negative 3. The negative tells us that Ivan is walking in the opposite direction. Ivan's speed is 3 meters per second when walking quickly back home while looking in his school bag. Section C. Gradient. M equals the change in distance over the change in time, which equals 160 minus 40 over 100 minus 70, which is 4. Ivan's speed is 4 meters per second when he runs to the taxi stop. Section D. Gradient. M equals the change in distance over the change in time, which equals 160 minus 160 over 120 minus 100, which is zero. Ivan's speed is zero meters per second while he waits for the taxi and is stationary. We notice that the gradient of a distance time graph helps us to calculate speed. Each straight line section of the graph above represents a constant speed. When dealing with linear graphs, it's easy to determine the slope or gradient of the graph by dividing the change in y values, delta y, by the change in x values, delta x, between the same two points, m is equal to delta y over delta x. Gradient can be positive, negative, or zero. The steepness of the gradient can vary from zero to undefined. When dealing with curves, the gradient changes at every point on the curve. Therefore, we need to work with the average gradient. The average gradient between two points is the gradient of a straight line drawn between the two points. To find the average gradient between the two points on a curve, we calculate the gradient of the straight line that passes through both points. Example 1. Finding the average gradient. Given the graph with equation f of x, equals 2x squared minus x minus 6, find the average gradient between x equals 1 and x equals 4. Solution. To find the average gradient, plot the points where x equals 1 and x equals 4 on the parabola. Join the two points. Since they form a straight line, we use the gradient formula m equals change in y, delta y, over change in x, delta x. To use the gradient formula, we need the function values at x equals 1 and x equals 4. f of 1 equals 2 times 1 squared minus 1 minus 6, which equals negative 5. 
and f of 4 equals 2 times 4 squared minus 4 minus 6, which equals 22. So m equals 22 minus negative 5, divided by the answer to 4 minus 1, which equals 9. Gradient at various points on the curve. From the previous example, we saw that to calculate the average gradient, we needed two points. To find the gradient at a specific point on a curve, we need calculus. By considering the steepness of curve 1, match the points labelled A, B, C, D and E with the gradients in the table. A straight line drawn through point E will slope to the left and have a negative gradient. A straight line through point C will slope to the right and have a positive gradient with the same steepness as at point E. A straight line drawn through the point D will be a horizontal line and have a gradient of zero. A straight line drawn through the point A will slope to the right and have a positive gradient and be less steep than point B. A straight line drawn through the point B will slope to the right and have a positive gradient and be steeper than their gradient at point A. All these straight lines are called tangents as they touch the curve at only one point. Curve 2. For the function shown, at what labelled point does the graph have A, a positive gradient, tangents drawn at point B will have a positive gradient, B, a negative gradient, tangents drawn at point D, E and C will slope to the left and have a negative gradient, and C, zero gradient, tangents through point A and E will be horizontal and have a gradient of zero. In calculus, you will learn how to use a process called differentiation to find a gradient function to determine the gradient at any point on a curve. The gradient at a single point on a curve is the same as the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the given point. Sir Isaac Newton, a British physicist, and Gottfried Leibniz, a German mathematician, independently invented differential calculus in the 17th century. For Newton, the applications of calculus were geometrical and related to the physical world. Leibniz focused on the use of calculus in the analysis of change in graphs.